it's another neuron or it's a cell of an organ. Neurons are um, classified according to diameter, uh, degree of myelination. You need to remember that there are some unmyelinated neurons and speed of conduction. Now a synapse is formed when one neuron is communicating with another neuron or another type of cell. So this is what a synapse would look like. So you can see that we've got all kinds of different um, neurons that are communicating with this one neuron in the middle with the um, cell body shown. So we've got the axon of this neuron and it is communicating um, at all of these points with the dendrites. And this one's communicating directly with the cell body and this one's communicating with the axon. Now at that juncture, we have the communication via neurotransmitters. So the neurotransmitters are doing the communicating. Now, when we studied muscles, we studied um, the um, neuromuscular junction, and we saw what was happening at the axon level. And so we should already know that in order for an axon to receive the message, um, we have to have calcium ions present. So we're going to have um, these calcium ions rush into the axon, and at this point, the calcium ions are going to cause the synaptic vesicles to release the neurotransmitter, whatever that neurotransmitter may be, by exocytosis. And so as it leaves via exocytosis, it's then going to diffuse across the synaptic cleft. When it diffuses, once it diffuses across the synaptic cleft, it's going to bind to receptors on the other side of the synaptic cleft. And at that point, we are going to either have um, something happen or we're going to inhibit something from happening. So here is the, um, you can see the direction of the action potential. We have calcium ions rushing in and here are those synaptic vesicles. These contain the neurotransmitters. So they're going to um, release the neurotransmitter via exocytosis and then on this side we're going to have a receptor receive that message from the neurotransmitter. Now neurotransmitters um, come in a wide variety. We have learned one neurotransmitter thus far this year and that was acetylcholine. That's a neurotransmitter that is specific to muscle contraction. But there are many more. There are 50 different neurotransmitters that have been um, identified. And here's um, some of the neurotransmitters. We have acetylcholine, that was for muscle contraction. We have norepinephrine and epinephrine. We have dopamine, which is a really important one. Um, some amino acids, some peptides, etc. So there are lots of different neurotransmitters, and it depends on what that neuron is communicating with. Uh, that is what decides what type of neurotransmitter it 